Thanks for joining us for today's Public Good App House demo event. I'm Bailey Maples, and I'm a Senior Program Manager with the Strategic Partnerships team here at TechSoup. So joining me today, we have Kelly Johnson, Support Analyst in Enterprise Sales Development at SignUp Genius. Kelly has worked at SignUp Genius since 2015 as part of the customer support and enterprise sales teams. She helps business and nonprofit groups of all sizes find the best solution to save time and money. Sign Up Genius makes it easy to coordinate events and volunteers in minutes with online signups. The tool replaces the need for reply all emails and spreadsheets, helping groups simplify organizing and communication. Hello, everybody. My name is Kelly Johnson, and I am with signupgenius.com, and I'm coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina today. Sign Up Genius has a strong company culture where we value simplicity, doing excellent work embracing change and enjoying what we do. Um, one of my favorite parts of uh, being part of the Sign Up Genius team is helping everyday people um, do great things and have an impact on their community. So how did Sign Up Genius get started? In 2008, Sign Up Genius founder Dan Rutledge was hosting a gathering for a church group, and he asked uh, individuals with the last name A through M to bring snacks and N through Z to bring drinks. And um, all the snack people brought chips and salsa and all the drink people brought Diet Coke. And Dan knew there had to be a better way. So uh, he began creating and, and coding Sign Up Genius um, and using it for his church group and his kids' sports team. And um, before you knew it, it, it word began to spread and Sign Up Genius was born. Um, if you look at the image on the right of this slide, you'll see what a, a sign up could look like if you're hosting a small event uh, where you're collecting hosts and people can put in if they're going to bring a snack and actually what they're going to bring so that you don't have the chips and salsa Diet Coke uh, fiasco that Dan did. All right, so I'm going to take you through the steps of how simple it is to create a sign up. As I mentioned earlier, we really value simplicity. We like to keep things simple so that um, just as James mentioned, you have time to be out there in the field doing the work you want to do, not managing um, your volunteers. Um, so when you create a sign up, there's just three simple steps. You have this design tab where you can enter additional information about your event. You can hyperlink um, uh, other websites and um, you know, resources that uh, your volunteers may need to view. Um, you can also attach documents and files. And um, you can also customize who the contact person is going to be. So um, if you have a lot of volunteers and some manage specific areas, you can make sure the contact person for your sign up is the correct person. So that's the first step. The second step is the most important, in my opinion, and that is where you put the meat of the sign up. And that includes the dates and the times that you need volunteers. Um, you can also list the specific job that you want them to do. Um, sometimes you're not collecting items, you are organizing people. So um, our slot area allows you to uh, give additional information about the type of volunteer you need. Um, does this volunteer need to be able to drive or lift something that's 50 pounds or heavier? Or are you simply uh, gathering um, donations? You can list all of that in your slots. So um, our system has built in uh, wizard, we call it, that'll help you create those dates and those times quickly. That, that saves you some time as well. The third step, this is our settings tab, and it allows you to request the contact information of your volunteers. Um, you can ask additional custom questions. So if you would like to gather a t-shirt size for your volunteers, or you need to know um, if they are comfortable you know, standing for a long period of time, you can ask all of those questions and gather that information from your participants. Um, this settings tab also includes a host of other features, including one of our most popular features, which is the automatic reminder, um, where our system will automatically email your uh, volunteers to let them 
uh, know and remind them that they are signed up to volunteer or to bring in something. Um, there's also restrictions you can add. Um, if you have an ongoing sign up need, then you can hide dates that are in the past or hide dates that are in the future, just so you're not in there having to manage this uh, event day to day. Our system will automatically do that for you so that when volunteers come to the uh, page, they see what's current. Once you have completed those three steps, there on the left, you'll see an example of a, this completed um, food bank volunteer sign up. And as your participants sign up, you can easily create a report and export that report for your records. Um, and this is where you're gonna have the contact information for your volunteers, the responses to those custom questions, um, the email addresses. So if, if you want to create a group and contact them again for your next uh, event, you have all of that there for you. The beauty of Sign Up Genius is the sign up is going to update in real time. So anyone who comes to the sign up can see where the needs are and, um, and what works for them. Sign Up Genius can be used to manage events and volunteer needs, large and small. So whether you have an ongoing event or a one-time need, um, we ask that you resist the urge to pick up the phone or send that reply all email and uh, just go to signupgenius.com. You can create a free account. Uh, we also offer a 14-day free trial if you're interested in advanced features. Um, you can sign up for a consulting call. We'll be happy to uh, help you know which subscription and which features will um, match your organization best.